This is calculator question number 26. College Board asks about a study involving a random sample of 35 students from all the students at one of the middle schools in a large city. We found that students who played this game showed significant improvement in adding fractions. And the question is, what is the largest group to which the results of this study can be generalized? College Board loves this question and they ask it very often. You should expect to see it on your SAT. The rule is the results of a study can be generalized to the group from which participants were randomly selected. So since we randomly selected participants from all students at one middle school, we can generate generalize to all students at that school. There would be no point in a study that can only be applied to the individuals in that study. You don't learn anything that can be used beyond those who participated and the research just has no value if it only applies to 35 people. You cannot generalize to all middle school, school students in this city since your sample was not drawn from the entire city and you can't generalize to all students in this city of all ages again because you did not draw your sample from that group. Remember the rule is if this sample is randomly selected from a group the results of the, sample, of the study can be generalized to the group from which the sample was randomly selected. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.